good evening all today's topic is whistle blowers so mainly with respect to corruption activities illegal activities there is blowing of the whistle blowing of the whistles with respect to wrong doings harassments fraud abuse safety stealing so whoever are blowing the whistle they are being subjected to criticism they are being subjected to harassment so in order to protect them there was one particular law called as whistle blower whistle blower protection act 2014 so here i want to discuss about what is whistle blower who is whistle blower and what is whistle blowing so in this particular circumstance whistle blower a whistle blower is a person who raises his or her voice against any illegal act done by another person in the past few years many whistle blowers have been killed so whoever is blowing the whistle with respect to the illegal activities those people are called as whistle blowers but in the past few years this particular whistle blowers were been killed by those people who had been accused by this particular whistle blower for their protection the parliament have enacted whistle blower protection act 2014 however this would not possible to protect all the whistle blowers in spite of the act for the sake of protection of whistle blowers this was not sufficient to protect the whistle blowers lot of people ashok kemka satyendranath manjunath so various bureaucrats were been subjected to witch hunting because of their whistle blowing of the illegal activities in the ministries in the departments as well as in the fields so in this particular circumstance i am going to discuss about whistle blower protection bill 2014 which has been became act the parliament of india approved the whistle blowers protection bill 2014 to set up a mechanism to encourage persons for disclosure of information on corruption or willful misuse of power by public service so so there is a need to encourage the whistle blowers why because someone should be there who need to blow the whistle mainly with respect to litigation mainly with respect to corruption activities mainly with respect to illegal activities mainly with respect to misuse of the funds so hence there is a need to encourage them how we can encourage them when we ensure that you will be protected so this particular willful whistle blower protection act 2014 which was a bill earlier then it was been passed this particular whistle blower protection act is protecting and giving safety for the whistle blowers also provides adequate safeguards against victimization of the whistle blower the act also seeks to provide punishment for false or frivolous complaints so whoever makes fake complaints for those people who also does the fake accusations fake accused those people are also subjected to punishable offences so these are the points which are present in whistle blower protection act of 2014 so two, two types of whistle blowers are there one is internal whistle blower and other is external whistle blower internal whistle blowers are people who report the misconduct to other person higher officials within the organization so there are two types of whistle blowers are there one is internal other is external internal within the organization when he reports to the higher officials it is called as internal whistle blower and external whistle blowers who report the matter to the media or ngos or the associations that particular act of whistle blowing is called as external whistle blowing Whereas external whistle blowers reports misconduct to a person outside the organization, like media and enforcement agencies, like ACBI, like Central Vigilance Commission. This is more into practice external whistle blowing. So, Whistle Blower Protection Act 2014, according to the Whistle Blower Protection Act 2014, should protect and hide the identity of the whistle blowers. Police protection should be given to the whistle blowers. So, whoever is blowing the whistle, those people's identity should be hidden so that the world should not know about him. Why? Because if world knows about him, he will be victimized by the accused people. Hence, there is a need to protect the identity of those. whistle blowers number 2 if it comes out if the information comes out the whistle blowers as identity has been revealed then the police protection should be given to him so that there should not be any violent activity should be done on those however this would only protect a few people hence there had been an amendment in 2015 so hence it, it, it was been very very limited hence there was was a demand for amendment to protect the whistle blowers The Vigilance Commission has to protect the identity of the complainant and related documents unless it decides against doing so. So it is at the discretion of S- Central Vigilance Commission whether to reveal the whistle blower or whether to hide the whistle blower. So CVC is the organ is, is the body which is taking care of the Whistle Blowers Protection Act. The body which is looking over the Vigilance Commission, Central Vigilance Commission is the body which is taking care of the Whistle Blowers Act 2014. And there is a amendment that more protection is required for those people who are been blowing the whistles 
So examples. In 2003, a person named Sachindra Dubey was murdered for exposing corruption in National Highways Authority of India, the Golden Quadrilateral Project. So this is one example which you can use in your ethics. This Sachindra Dubey. Satyendra Dubey's example, you can use it. This particular person revealed the scam which happened in National Highways Authority of India in the project of Golden Quadrilateral. He was being killed. The famous example, Ashok Kemka, an IAS officer of Haryana cadet transferred for cancelling alleged irregular land deal between the Robert Vadra and DLF. So these are the people who have been victimized because of their blowing the whistle. So my dear friends, this is my Gmail ID. For any queries, you can mail me and there is Quora about me, about my review of the classes. And this is a Telegram channel where every day the current affairs will be pumped into. Join in this particular Telegram group. This is the link as well as the name of the Telegram, a public, a open platform this is. And Facebook account and this is YouTube channel. Please, my dear friends, subscribe to my channel. Every day current affairs related information, current affair related videos will be posted in this particular YouTube channel. And this is my website. Thank you. Thank you very much.